Family in Lot is losing their home and everything they own after they trusted a local contractor to build them a house, but he failed to complete it. We first brought you this story as a six fix where at least 20 families who hired Clayton Construction to work on their home had ended up losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Six News anchor Adrian Alexander has more on this family who will have nowhere to go in less than two weeks. She joins me now from the newsroom. Adriana. Chris Carroll and James Shaw hire Clayton Yost to build them a bar dominium. Now almost four years later, all the money they've invested into the project is unaccounted for and the home they've dreamed of may be gone forever. What was supposed to be the Shaw family's dream home. October of 2021 is when we started this. Turned into a nightmare. We're going to be, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll be homeless. Carol Shaw is a part of at least 20 families who lost fortunes by hiring Clayton Yost with Clayton Construction to either build or renovate their homes. Shaw hired Yost back in 2021, but did not foresee what she called the horrors to come. And we thought that that he had all the requirements, the bonding, the the insurance. The bank told us his, he wasn't bonded and he didn't have insurance. Shaw says there was constant money being pumped into building her barn dominium, spending over $80,000 out of pocket. And with home loans and liens being put on her home, that number grew even larger. I believe it was 290000 it just went from bad to worse. Now Shaw says her home and her land is being put up for auction on February 6th. We know this land. You know, we walked every inch of this land. But if we can't stay here, where do we go? Yost filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy in September 2023 and is over $5.7 million in debt, owing customers, other companies, and banks. Victims like the Shaws are now left to clean up the mess he's made in their lives, but she's grateful to us for being a listening ear during the chaos. Channel 6 and you have been the only people who have listened and, and you know, saved how many people from being scammed. You have such an unfortunate situation. Yost was indicted December 2023 for theft of less than $300,000 and at least five other families have active lawsuits against him and his company, Chris. Yeah, out of all the protections that consumers have, this one completely falls through the, uh, the cracks right. and you can't believe that humans could treat other humans like this and this could happen to them. Yep, so unfortunate. Man, thank you, Adriana.